Hey guys, I wanted to post a short video today on an interesting little uh, weather location, not too far from here. Uh, we're obviously in New York, and in New Hampshire is a place called Mount Washington. Uh, Mount Washington is located in the White Mountains of New Hampshire, uh, and it's one of the tallest mountains in the Northeast, and it's also famous for its weather. So let's take a look at that. Uh, Mount Washington is, is in a unique situation in that it's where uh, three different wind patterns uh, come together near the mountaintop. And in this picture, what you can see is this tower looking feature here. This is actually a weather observatory. Uh, it's, it's manned by a group of people. They spend the night up there. They uh, collect weather data 24 hours a day, every day of the year. Uh, they don't live up there full time. There's teams of people and they spend I'm not sure exactly how it works, but a few days there, and then they go home for a few days and a different group of people come in. Uh, so basically they work a few days at the observatory, they go home for a few days, and they, they basically have a rotation set up. But they basically spend the night there, they live there, and every uh, so often they'll, they'll go out, check the weather instruments. And, and uh, as you can see in this picture, it's winter time. Uh, one of the things they get there is a lot of what's called rime ice, which is basically ice forming directly from clouds and it builds up into thick layers onto uh, the building, the weather instruments, and basically every exposed surface on the mountaintop. This is the top of the mountain and the observatory is uh, here. In the background, it might be kind of hard to tell, but those are actually clouds and the mountains above the clouds and we're looking at the cloud tops from above. You can hear some pictures, maybe not the best, but you can see uh, you know, we're, we're above the tree line uh, at the top of the mountain there. And here's another picture of it. Uh, this is an area called Tuckerman's Ravine. Uh, here's the observatory up at the top. This is actually a popular spot to go skiing. Uh, it's not a ski mountain. You actually have to hike up and then put your skis on and then ski down. Very popular thing to do in the springtime. Uh, and here we can see it over there too, a uh, little green. Uh, anyway, here's the uh, top of the mountain. Again, a lot of that ice buildup on top of the weather instruments. And uh, here it is here too. One of the things that makes Mount Washington so famous is that it's known for its high winds. Uh, in 1937, uh, the observatory, I think it was 1937, 1934, it says it in the sign here in the background, 1934. Uh, the highest wind speed has, uh, that was ever recorded occurred in this spot. This isn't the fastest wind ever measured. It's just the fastest wind not related to a hurricane or a tornado that's ever been measured. So this um, record is, is the highest wind speed, 231 mile per hour wind, not a hurricane, not a tornado. Uh, hurricanes, tornadoes have broken that record. This is the, the highest non-hurricane or tornado wind speed that's ever been measured. Uh, Mount Washington in New Hampshire is known for its high and extreme winds. Uh, it gets this thing, thick coating of ice uh, the meteorologists that work and live up there have to periodically go out with uh, ice axes and, and tools and chop that ice uh, and break uh, the instruments free of all of that ice. The wind is so strong and so severe at times that they actually have to chain the buildings down. You can see these chains are running from the roof down to the ground. Uh, the first buildings and the first structures they built up there blew away. Uh, so they actually have to chain these structures down to the ground. And here's another picture here, Tuckerman's Ravine, uh, popular skiing location again. Okay, so uh, that was just a quick little video about uh, Mount Washington. And uh, one of the things that I'm going to ask you to do is to watch a short video uh, where some of the meteorologists were, were essentially just playing around. You know what, I, actually, I'm just going to pull it up right now. Okay, hold on to that thought. Okay, so here we have a, a video called Breakfast of Champions. This is a, a silly little uh, video. It was made by the meteorologists at the Mount Washington Observatory. And um, basically what they did was they went outside on a very windy day. At Mount Washington, the wind speeds can easily be in excess of 100 miles per hour regularly. Uh, so it's a very, very windy spot. It's often considered to be one of the windiest places in the world. And it's really not that far from here. It's just a few hours away. Uh, anyway, they went outside on one of these really windy days and they did a little silly video. Uh, it's an older video. They did this back in the 70s or 80s. I don't really remember. Uh, but it's called Breakfast of Champions because what they're trying to do is eat breakfast in this high wind. And again, this is just kind of like, you know, they were playing around. Uh, but it really shows how windy it was at this location. 
and you'll see one meteorologist sitting at a table trying to be served breakfast by one of the other meteorologists. So let's take a look at the video. So obviously a silly little video and meteorologists having a little bit of fun, but you can you can clearly see how uh, windy it is. It's considered to be one of the windiest places in the world uh, and one of the places that actually has some of the worst weather in the world uh, because of those high wind speeds. And we have uh, three wind patterns converging or coming together in this one location uh, that generates a lot of severe weather. Uh, it's often wind speeds over 100 miles per hour at the top where the weather observatory is. It's often uh, socked in with fog and clouds, and it's often um, you know, raining and snowing. And there's also been a number of fatalities up there too. People trying to hike to the top of the mountain and then you know, getting disoriented in a snowstorm and losing their way and, and things like that. There, there's many different um, accounts of, of fatalities that have occurred up there. It's not far from here. It's, it's maybe about a four and a half, five hour drive. Maybe some of you have even been there uh, on summer vacation or something like that. But just thought it'd be an interesting little thing to take a look at. Okay, so that's all for now. Thanks.